Hello Virgo and happy birthday. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your September 2017 mini tarot reading. Let's get started here. Let's see what's going on in your birthday. The Virgo birthday months. Here we go. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website at www.soulstarbliss.com. Get yourself an appointment and we'll see what we can do with you. We can get that out real quick. Also, please remember to check your sun, your rising, and your moon sign. I continue to get those wonderful comments. Thank you for taking the time to do that, that people are checking more than just their sun signs. So I hope that helps with you. Wow, it says chariot, one who achieves greatness. It says that a lot of people here are going to be dealing with issues from the past or uh, failures from the past possibly, or sadness from the past, but whatever it is, you're going to see that you can let that go. Don't let it overshadow what you're doing right now or making you afraid or, you know, feeling like you can't make choices for the future. Yes, yes, you can. It says you've learned a lot and you're going to be doing a lot of repairs in here, which is really good, or you have been. You've been healing inside. It says, Apprenticeship is over from the past. What you've worked on now, okay, you have something started. It says continue. It's just like I feel like there's all these little um, gears going together and you got one more and you put it and everything starts to turn or it is already turning and you're going to find ways to critique and make it better. Some of you have been getting messages from spirit or angels or uh, knowing that they're around you. Maybe it's your spirit guides that says this is going to help you. That's really a good thing. I love when I see that. It says, in the past, it seems like in a relationship department, some of you have had some real disappointment. Okay, that's not everybody, but if, you're, uh, if you have a continued, you know, ending of a relationship in a certain way, maybe it's a good time to even look back and see, you know, or, or compare how things are going. Even with it, if it's with the same person, if the same issue keeps coming up over and over and over again, maybe talk is needed. Maybe there needs to be, there obviously needs to be some kind of change and if you talk about it or look back and see how you got to where you are, you might even see what the reason is there or the issue or whatever word you want to use. It says, ah, abundance. Abundance is yours. doesn't matter how it was before. It matters how it was now. If you started something and quit in the past or gave up on it, it might be time to re reignite that, um, that business, that issue, that creativity, whatever it is that you were working on. It says... Um, Victory will be yours, okay? You're going to get in what you, you're going to get out of something of what you put into it. But it says some people have given up just before success was theirs. It says there's some of you already have stuff in the works that you're going to be real happy that you continued with. Um, and I'm pretty sure this has to do with business, work, something like that. Um, and it says make sure that you get what you're uh, working on or don't don't give your business away don't don't give your um, opportunity for growth away if you're at work you know and you're working on something make sure you get credit for what you're doing it says don't give your power away it says take credit for what you what you have coming it says it's a good time now to put your worries to rest um, those of you that are worried about things changing quickly yes there it looks like there's going to be a lot of quick changes for you this month I do have the Nine of Cups for you, so it looks like a lot of wishes that you want for some of you could be falling into place. In the love department or relationship department, it says that you're going to have to um, you're going to have to give and receive, receive and give. It's going to have to be reciprocal. It says some of you are kind of fearful about giving or saying or standing up for or being afraid of uh, showing your feelings and it says just look inside take your time do whatever you know is best for you this isn't for everybody but it says some of you need to voice how you're feeling okay you can't just think about how you'd like something to be and expect your partner or mate to read your mind or you know I shouldn't have to tell them maybe you don't but isn't it worth a try maybe it, it, think about that if you can it says a lot of you have such strength and that you're ready for some change you've asked for change it is coming so and it says victory could be yours but don't ask for the change and then get upset when things start to, to seem to like they're not how you pictured it because when we ask for change we kind of have to accept I believe how it comes not we don't get to pick and choose every little detail um, It'd be nice if we could. But it says things are really going to start falling into place for you. It says you have to, some of you have to change the way that you deal with people, okay? Or um, 
um, like you, be, that's not exactly what I want to say. It says be open to other people's ideas that are trying to help you, okay? Because there are some people there that are going to help you. They're going to give you some opportunities. I'm not saying you have to take every idea, but be open because sometimes when you're discussing or someone is expressing creativity, it might even be that chiching it makes uh, makes you think of something else. I'm not saying their idea is perfect. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying. Have your ears open to listen to those around you that are helping. Because someone that does the same thing over and over every day or even observes somebody doing the same thing over and over every day, they sometimes get an idea. It sounds simple. It might be just a little tweak of something, and I think that will help you immensely for some of you. It says that you got a lot of plans, a lot of fires, in the, a lot of irons in the fire for some of you, and it says, you know, focus on one at a time. Some of you are so much into work that you're not having any time to play. Got to have time to play. Got to have time with the family. Got to have time with the mates. Whatever it is, it says, you know, work is good, yes. But so you have to have some kind of uh, something more than work, okay? It says some of you are going to have some people pop in from the past. Heads up, it says how it ended before. It certainly could again, although some people, you know, really do change. Or maybe the opportunity, maybe the time frame changes. But it says... Make someone prove themselves before you give them the reins for something, uh, to let them run something. It says, how you want and wish things to be isn't necessarily uh, the way it is. Some of you that are waiting for an offer of some kind, offer of a job, offer of money, someone setting up a business deal with you, I have a feeling that you're going to be going somewhere and this could fall into place. So it says, um, there's no more excuses now. If you're fearful of being successful, and uh, that is kind of a fear for some, um, you have to just have a, like a leap of faith. You have to trust. It says your intuition is going to take you a long way here. I feel there's going to be reasons for you to celebrate. You're going to make some choices about improving your finances. And it says you're going to do them without fear. Okay, you're fearful and afraid, but you are a survivor. You're very good at work. So it says trust in yourself, and you're going to see major changes here this month possibly. And it says that you're getting ready for some um, a future endeavor. I don't know if you have an idea that you're working on or something that is so close to being done um, is going to be presented or uh, it's just going to bring you more money for some reason. There's going to be an, or something you started in August or last month is going to help with this month. So with that said, I want to thank you for dropping in. Happy birthday, Virgo. I hope this is a great month for you and we'll see you again next month.